All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechachadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, it means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son, it means He is who saves. Rechachadash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. I want to get some a scripture, Matthew chapter 10, which deals with the ministry. It's when uh, Yahweh Shai sent the Twelve out. And when he called, and when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of disease. The names of the twelve apostles are these: the first Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew his brother, James the son of Zebedee, and John his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew the publican, James the son of Alphaeus and Lebaeus, whose surname was Thaddeus. Simon the Canaanite, and Jesus Iscariot, who also betrayed him. These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. So not into the way of the Gentiles means don't start following the Gentile customs. You know, don't start follow, be, you know, being half a Hebrew like the, the Gentiles are. And into the city... Of any of the Samaritans entered me on. But rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So maybe maybe it's more like don't go into this any of the cities that the Gentiles have been going to. Um, more like not necessarily go, uh, going into the Greek cities or whatever. But to start off with they were to go into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And actually go preach saying... Kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received and freely give. Cast out devils is an interesting one as well. Because it could be to cast out demons, but it also could mean, you know, to get rid of those people that are telling lies in the community. But I think it's demons. Provide neither gold nor silver nor brass in your purses, nor a script for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet stays for the workman is worthy of his meat. Script for your journey is interesting. I would have thought it was an itinerary, but I'm not sure. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who is, who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go hence. So, I mean, this is good, this is good uh, general thingy, isn't it? Um, good general advice, you know, not to be hanging around with people that are spiritually unclean. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whatsoever, and whosoever shall you not receive you, nor hear your words, when you depart out of that house or city, shake the dust off your feet. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in that in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I send you forth as sheep into the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. We're not to be fighting in the streets. We're not to be fighting each other. You know, if we have the message to get across, that we come, come across gently, subtly, you know, without force. <clears throat> but beware of men. For they will deliver you up to councils and they will scourge you, scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testament, testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not that ye speak... It is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents, and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. But when they persecute you in the city, flee you into another. For verily I say unto you, you shall not have gone over all the cities of Israel 
to the son of man become? So Israel scattered among all the nations, you know, so they're saying you won't be able to travel to everywhere before the sun, but you obviously, we got the internet doing that heavy work for us. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. It's enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his household? Fear them not, them not therefore, for there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed and hid that shall not be known. So yeah, they, you know, they, they, will, they might call, call you all sorts of names. What I tell you in the darkness, that you speak in the light. And what you hear in the air, that preach ye upon the housetop. So the thing that is heard in the darkness, which is in private, that's basically saying, speak, you can speak, say it publicly. And what you heard in the air, what you heard quietly, you know, proclaim it so that everybody can hear. What you heard one to one, proclaim it far and wide. Uh, 25 is verse 25 is on me man it's enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his lord if they have to call the master of the house so don't mind give them mind to what they might call you they might call you all sorts of names man if they're rude enough to go to the master of the house uh, and call them all sorts of things what how such as Yahweh shy they might call him they might have called him a devil back in the day or, or some kind of hypocrite or what's the word uh, heretic you know so they might they they, they are going to even call you even worse names basically they're saying because you don't have the same rank as the master of the household so don't worry about them because anything that they they think that they got that you know and in their hidden powers they're all going to be revealed and they're going to their Esau is going to have his skirts lifted as we know and fear that, um, going back to 28 so jumping around a bit and fear them not which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul but rather fear him which is able to destroy both body soul and body in hell you know that's to say and this is another thing that um talks about reincarnation you know because it's the soul that comes back but as we know the esau uh, the edomites are going to be done away with so one sec yeah as we know the Edomites are going to be done away with so their souls are going to perish like that's it and then coming back for the Edomites man they're actually going to be no more that's 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 a heavy judgment the one judgment enough to be um, destroyed on a level one judgment enough to have a lifetime of pain or many lifetimes of pain but to to be really not ever come back that's a whole different level of judgment are not two sparrows so for a farthing and one of them shall not fall on the ground with that and one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father that's to say that must be that sparrow even the sparrow is looked after by the father unless he ordains that the sparrow dies they will be looked after but the very hairs on your head are all numbered. So that's to say that unless you are, unless the, the most high ordains it, not even one hair can drop out of your head. 31. Fear ye not, therefore, you have more value than many sparrows. Whosoever, therefore, shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. So that's another thing. And when people say, you know, when people are be mocking, Mocking um, the Bible, mocking Yahweh Shai, mocking the ministry, mocking what you believe and stuff. You know, you must, you can't be just like, oh, I don't believe that either. Ha ha ha. You gotta be, you gotta be like, well, you know, subtle, but at the same time, you gotta stand. You know what I mean? Stand, stand your ground a little bit and just say, oh, well, that's. That's interesting that you don't believe that I kind of follow the scriptures and the scriptures say this. You know what I mean? Just keep it subtle, but at the same time, 
you don't want to start. And it reminds me of this, um, a, uh, a, what's it called, a passage from the Maccabees when they were trying to get some old Israelite to eat pork and celebrate the Feast of Bacchus, you know, um, desecrating the temple by eating pork in the temple and that. And he said, you won't do it, you'd rather die. And so they said, okay, well, look, tell you what, just make it look like you ate pork. And he was like, no, I ain't going to do that either because that's going to show other Israelites that, um, you know, give a bad example to them, you know, because he was a senior and well-respected person, you know, so they're trying to get him to, to, you know, not to stand up for his own beliefs in front of the people and, he weren't, he weren't having it, so they put him to death. But at the end of the day, that's what we have to do. We have to be ready to confess that or, you know, to admit, let's say, our faith in front of other people, even when it's ridiculed. You know, be, not without, I mean, not not with force, subtly. Remember to be harmless, wiser serpents and harmless the doves. We've got to duck and move. You know what I mean? We're not meant to be out there trying to, um, I don't know, Sort of bulldoze everybody into our opinions and stuff. <sighs> but whosoever shall deny me before him, also, him also will I deny before my Father, which is in heaven. So we have to remember that uh, Yahweh Shai is our advocate before the Most High. You know, he's our Levitical or Melchizedek root to through the Holy of Holies to the Most High. 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. I come. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father and a daughter against his mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. You know I mean? uh, and a man's foes shall be. A man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth his father or mother more than me is wor- is not worthy of me, and he that loveth his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. You know, so in the pr- trying to preserve your life, trying to jump into them CBDCs, trying to take that juicy juice, because, you know, people are trying to tell you that, you know, that you, you're going to lose your job or you're going to lose this you're going to lose that you're going to lose your car you're going to lose your woman you're trying to preserve your life and forgetting about the scriptures that's the fastest way to lose it to be and, 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 the, and the men of the Lord who ain't that bothered about their career ain't that bothered about their whips their, their, their houses or whatever but sorely they have their eye single and focused on the Lord, they're the people that will get life. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. 40. He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. You know, and this it goes down to the, the servant of the household, you know. A servant of the servant and the, of the household, you know. He that receives a prophet in the name of the prophet shall receive the prophet's reward. And he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. You know, so it's again just talking about that trans transference or that transience of uh, of of honour. Uh, furthermore, forty-two, and who has, whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. So, anything you do for the apostles in the ministry, you know, I mean, it's not going to be forgotten, you know. And on the other hand, anything that you lose for ministries is, is by no means forgotten. Let's see, Matthew eleven. I think I'm going to 
Jesus' tribute to John. I'm going to read a little bit about this and then probably on to 15 I'm going to stop. And as they departed, uh, Yahweh Shai began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What went ye in out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by it with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in the king's houses. But what went ye out to see? A prophet? Yes, unto you, and more than a prophet. For this is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. Verily I say unto you, Among them are born of women, there hath not risen a greater than John the Baptist, notwithstanding he that is he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. And the days of John the Baptist until now, and the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the, king, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the, and the law prophesied until John. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which is for to come. And need that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And that is just heavy, that one. That is just heavy. You know. Did you want to do, so when they say, did you want to see a, a leaf, a, a, what's it, a reed shaken by the wind, did you, did you expect to see some soft, sort of, well-tailored, gentle man? Did you expect to see a man clothed in soft raiment and, and, and silk and, you know, when you expect to see a prophet of the Lord, <laughs> when you know, but you know they a lot of the time they're called GMS bums, you know, because they're they ain't they ain't lined up. They just keep it real. One sec. But anyway, it goes into a little bit talking about um the incarnation and saying that this is a lie if you can receive it. So anyway, um, with that I'm gonna say Shalom.